Guys, March Xbox games have been announced, and we have an absolute awesome mix of AAA quality with amazing indie games. Maybe some of the best indie games I've ever seen, period, on Game Pass. And guys, this is going to be a really good month. With that, 97% of you haven't subscribed to a pure Xbox channel. Hit that red button. With that, let's get into it. All right, we're starting off quickly with the game Flight Simulator. Most of you guys know how insane this simulation game is, featuring real-time weather. The game even generates terrain and scenery based off satellite imagery using data from Bing Maps to showcase the world in real time. I mean, that's crazy. This mammoth of a game, though, now hits the cloud as of today. You guys don't have to download this bad boy anymore. So if you thought about jumping into a cockpit but didn't want to download anything, you're good to go. Now, jumping to our next next game i think this is the most hyped game out of this entire list guardians of the galaxy this is a game that i had a ton of fun with when it released back in 2021 it's an action adventure title that has you riding across space as you play as star lord leading of course the ragtag group of the guardians now for me the gameplay in this game was just absolutely smooth and fun the visuals were sometimes super gorgeous i mean i would just sit back and take it in but two things i absolutely could not get enough of with guardians of the galaxy was the story it was freaking hilarious you're gonna get tons of laughs playing this also the insanely awesome 80s retro music guys i don't even like 80s music so for me this was a gem of a game and it also has tens of thousands of positive user reviews so it's very much loved and easily the highlight if you guys are interested in guardians of the galaxy it hits march 10th on both console cloud and pc now what was one of my favorite indie games of the past few years was the game called far loan sales this was the first iteration of the franchise now i'm going to be completely upfront with you i hate puzzle games with a passion yet when i played lone sales i was completely blown away by what was some of the most clever and enjoyable puzzles also the beautiful visuals and the kind of like that atmospheric experience that i got with that game but the new iteration far changing tides this is a completely brand new game is bringing in more of the same goodness with the sequel with new environments puzzles ship mechanics and even deeper challenges if a game like the first one can convert someone like myself into a big fan of this franchise when i just hate puzzles what does that tell you about the series for me this is a must play though i will say the last game was far too short i did finish it in just a few hours hoping this one brings a much longer adventure now kentucky route zero dubs itself as a magical realist adventure game featuring five acts a haunting electronic score and a suite of hymns and bluegrass this is a game that over the years has released its content and what i'd say is an atmospheric point and click that kind of just draws you in with its stories and wonder the visuals in this game are certainly unique and you can tell this is just kind of like a different vibe for a game now if you're interested in this title it does hit game pass on march 10th so Young Souls is a game that's heavily inspired by titles such as Castle Crashers or even Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. This is a beat-em-up RPG with what I think is pretty stunning visuals for an indie title. It has you dungeon diving and you can do this with a buddy on local co-op. You'll be taking out hordes of enemies and you'll be uh, experiencing 20 epic boss fights. This is a title that I do hope you guys check out. I've actually played it before and I've really enjoyed it. I think it was actually for me one of the best indie games to release last year on a whole different platform. Definitely Definitely check this out and it does hit Game Pass on March 10th on cloud, console, and PC. So Lightning Returns is the conclusion of the Final Fantasy 13 saga. It's probably the best chapter in the series marked by stunning battles you'll go and experience, a new world you'll explore. You play as Lightning blessed with incredible strength and tons of new weapons to use in battles, but you must find a way to not let the world end in 13 days. Now this game kind of shows its age since it released all the way back in 2015, but if you're a fan of the Final Fantasy franchise, you'll certainly be familiar with this type of story, the enemies, but the gameplay though, being so fast action could be a little different than the normal strategy you usually face in the final fantasy series either way what is in my opinion a pretty darn good game it does release on game pass on march 3rd for both consoles and pc finally guys so have you guys ever thought about what it would be like to take the most glorious lawnmower and maybe mow the lawn of the rich and famous was your answer no <laughs> probably but if you did think about it lawnmower simulator is the authentic experience you're really not going to find anywhere else now in this simulator you can mow the great lawns of the british countryside using the top lawn mowers in the business from toro skag and stiga all the while you manage your lawn mowing business in the career mode so this is a game that's very in-depth i mean you actually perform ground checks to set the blade height you measure your engine load and if all this was just too 
much excitement to contain. No worries, guys, as this is set to hit Game Pass on March 10th for cloud, console, and PC. If you guys enjoyed this Xbox Game Pass video, click this video right here to get more Xbox Game Pass recommendations, and I'll see you in the next video.